are calm, Caspian. Calm down, Caspian. Caspian! I am Uther, and I have been sent by Fafnir to kill you! You cannot kill the great and powerful Caspian! Yes, I can, and yes, I will, because I was sent by Fafnir! But oh, your mother's hip is so weak, and if she were to fall, oh, I would weep. But how do you know about my mother, for she is so glorious and strong? She raised me and my siblings, and I will kill you. No, you won't! Oh, yes, I will! No, you won't! Yes, I will! No, you won't! And yes, I will! No, you won't! And yes, I will! If you value your mother's life, then you will put Fafnir to the knife. All right. Don't worry, lad. I pay well. I'm feeling better now. Caspian, what the hell was that? What was what? Look at that. Nice. <laughs> nice view, too. <sighs> How could they do this to me? How could they do this to me? Oh, Who do they think they're dealing with? I am look. <sighs> nice table. Be going like the rest of me day. <sighs> I am Lord Aiden Fafnir. I am of royal blood. Oh. Stop it. How could they kick me out? How could they? What, did they basically think that I'm going to give away key information? Ah, I guess I talk too much. I talk out loud, I give information. I don't do that. I don't talk out loud. I don't talk to myself. Ah, the dishonor that they show me. Oh, very well. That's why I'm here after all. I'm here to take over the cell that belongs to Jonathan Caspian. Oh, excuse me. Lord Jonathan Caspian. Ha! Ah, oh, that fake noble. He has no noble blood. No one even knows how I got his position. Even he probably doesn't even know how many throats he slit to have to get it. To get the title. Lord! Well, I'll show them all. I'm going to take over his cell. And then, I'll take over the entire guild. Yes! Ha! Call me a rogue! Ha! Well, as soon as that simpleton Uther gets here, I'll have some more information. Fafnir! I have been sent by Lord Caspian to kill you! Well, at least the plan's working, but remember, you work for me? You're supposed to let Caspian think that you work for him. I work but... for both of you, and you are both alive. Yes, Uther. You have a marvelous grasp of the obvious. Yes. Uther, under what rock did I find you under? Oh, never mind. Fafnir, you are supposed to be dead. Maybe we should fake your death somehow. There's a problem with this idea, though. I am supposed to be dead. What's we gonna, how are we going to have Caspian believe I'm going to be dead? Uther, I've got it. We're going to fake my death so that Caspian believes that I am dead. Good idea, Lord Fafnir. I indeed. It is a great idea. Lord Fafnir always has good ideas. You should know that by now. I do. <sighs> but... Huh. There could be a problem with this idea, though. Where are they going to be? After my death has been faked. You should stay here, Fafnir, because Caspian would never come here. Wait a minute. What about a place like this? This isn't so bad for someone like me, even without, without royal blood. 
But Lord Jonathan Caspian, he can't stand this place. He wouldn't be caught dead here, even though he has no royal blood at all. Uther, I have got another great idea. Why don't I stay here after my death has been faked? Because Lord Jonathan Caspian would never set foot in this place. We all know that. Yes, Fafnir, good idea. As always, very well. Let's go make the arrangements for this evening. Huh. That's an interesting conversation. I think some fun's come to Bascal. <laughs> <laughs>